So welcome everyone to the third session on our business analytics training and which we are trying to learn data intelligence tool called Tableau here. So when it comes to data analytics, you know, data analytics is all about analyzing data. So the data, what we have around us, if you, if you see the time frame in last two, three years, the amount of data, which is coming around us is getting doubled. And possibly the reason of being is, is more revolution in the field of, of machine learning and artificial intelligence and data warehousing. So as we are getting more and more interconnected, so these form of possibilities are getting more and more evolved. So here uh, in this session, we're going to talk about a uh, business intelligence tool, which is called as Tableau. So I'm going to work on Tableau desktop here. So from last two classes, I've given you a brief introduction about desktop and public version. So desktop version, when you are using it, have a limited trial period. You can see 13 days it's visible. So possibly whenever you install the Tableau desktop version, you get a trial period of 14 days. Once it get over, you need to buy the license version for which you have to pay $70 per month per user. So uh, you can connect uh, when it comes to Tableau. Uh, it's, it's basically it's a data analysis tool. So which basically work on the intelligence form uh, to help us in drawing charts and graph. So you can connect Tableau with different server. Okay. So here for the learning purpose, uh, we will use MS Excel. Okay. So for connecting, you can press control D. Okay. Or you can go and press a Microsoft Excel here. Uh, the file, what we're going to use here is sample superstore workbook file. We are going to use here. Fine. So in how to get the sample superstore, you can go to document. And in document, you can go to my Tableau repository. This is a path. Then you can go to data source and then you can choose the latest year. And then you can click on the sample superstore workbook. So we'll try to uh, connect our system with the sample superstore workbook. Once we have done that connection so that we can see in the data source window. Okay, so here you can see the Excel workbook name called Sample Superstore. Here you can left side, uh, you can see the sheet name. So it have three sheet, uh, order, people, return. So out of these three sheet, the important sheet, what we need to work on is the order sheet. Okay, so if I go and check in Excel workbook. So Excel workbook, if I'm trying to open this Sample Superstore, uh, which is there under document, then my Tableau repository data source inside the year. So the sample superstore workbook, if I'm trying to open, you know this, right? How many columns it have? How many rows are there? Anyone from last, I think two days, we are discussing the same thing. How many rows are there? If you remember. How many rows are there? You have 10,194 rows. No, Mohan, 21 columns are there. Rows are 10,194. I think you got confused between row and column. So if you see the column, you have 21 column. So here also you can see the same thing. If you go to Tableau, you can see the same thing. For that, you have to drag the order under the drag table. So you can see 21 field, 21 field means 21 column and 10,194 rows. This is the data preview at the top. What you're seeing, this is the data type. When you're seeing the hash data type means it is a number data type. When you're seeing ABC, it is a string data type. When you're seeing this kind of symbol, it is a date data type. ABC means string data type. Okay. So. So already in last class, I have discussed about a uh, different forms of data type. Either it is string or Boolean or number whole or number uh, decimals. Okay. Date, date time, different types of data type I have discussed. So uh, more or less the data on which we are working, it have 21 columns and 10,000, 
194 rows. Okay, so that you can see from here. Clear everyone? Okay, so now if I go to the sheet, I can see different columns are there. Okay, so you, you should have an idea about, about the, the sample superstore workbook because uh, when it comes to Tableau, all form of training and all, all form of learning or different charts and graphs uh, will do on sample superstore only. So if possible, if you can develop more learning on this, it would be good for you. Like how many rows ID are there? So you have 10,194 rows are there. Okay, so order ID would be that only. Order date, I think every day there would be different date. Okay, not like that. Some dates have same date. You can see order date, how many order dates are there. So you can just keep an eye on like order date. If I just drag under row. If I just drag the order date under row. So you can see uh, basically they're talking about how many year, four years. 2020, 21, 22, 23. Inside you have a lot of dates. Okay. So you can see quarterly wise the data if you want to see. Then month wise data if you want to see. So like maybe I want to see the data profit I wanted to see. So you will get all the values here. I hope you are getting it. So first, when I clicked on date, it just showed me the year. Okay, four years are there. Then again, I, I again drag it. So then it's showing me the quarter. You know that one year means four quarter. One quarter is of three month. And then and you know that in a year you have 12 month. So again, the same thing it will show so per month data. And suppose numerically the measure value, which I want to see is profit. So it has shown me the profit value. I hope this is clear with everyone. So you should have an idea about uh, this, these forms of data, how many, how much data is there. It would be good if you can develop some form of understanding. Okay, let me just remove everything. Okay. So here, order date, ship date again, 2000 to 2023. So data is there. Ship mode. How many ship modes are there? Four ship modes are there. What are those four ship modes? Standard class, first class, second class, and one more class is there. So you can put filter here, all DFF, control Z, all DFF. You can put filter here. You can see the grouping first class, same day, second class, standard class. So these are the four, uh, what do you say? Uh, groupings in the in what uh, in the ship mode okay I hope you understood this then customer ID and all is not that much relevant customer name how many customer names are there if I ask you anyone how many customer names are there can you tell me How many customer names are there? Means how many customers are there? My question should be. Anyone? If I want to see the customer, how many customers are there? So I just drag the customer under row. You can see around 800 rows are there, means 800 customers are there. No, Rajat, uh, the 10,194 rows are there, Rajat. So some customer data would be repeating here. So you have to remember that. So you have 800 customers are there. Okay, you can like, after customer order date, here four dates they are talking about 2020. 21, 22, 23. Okay, postal code, you can check postal code. Just see this, see down 654 postal codes are there. Okay, product ID, whatever you want to see, segment, 
रो आई डी हाउ मेनी सेगमेंट आर देर थ्री सेगमेंट वुड बी देर कंज्यूमर कॉर्पोरेट एंड होम सप्लाईज इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग या कंज्यूमर कॉर्पोरेट एंड होम ऑफिस नॉट सप्लाईज थ्री सेगमेंट आर देर क्लियर सो देन रीजन फोर रीजन आर देर ईस्ट वेस्ट नॉर्थ साउथ सेगमेंट आई डिस्कस शिप डेट अगेन आई थिंक टू थाउजेंड टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री शिप मोड शिप मोड ऑलरेडी आई थिंक आई डिस्कस शिप मोड फोर टाइप्स ऑफ शिप मोड्स आ देर फर्स्ट क्लास स्टैंडर्ड सेकेंड क्लास शिप मोड फोर शिप मोड्स आ देर फर्स्ट क्लास सेम डे सेकेंड क्लास स्टैंडर्ड क्लास क्लियर प्लीज चेक बाय योर सेल्फ so four uh, ship mode four ship modes are there first class same day second class standard class clear everyone segment three segments are there state provinces how many state provinces are there so if you remember here 59 state or provinces are there you can do this exercise by yourself sub category how many sub categories are there 17 sub categories are there so all these column guys how many columns are there 21 columns are there so all these columns i can put them into two part uh, they can be dimension or they can be measures dimensions are all non quantitative columns okay all the column uh, which are non numerical they are called as dimension while all the column which are numerical we can call them as measures clear so for measure we have uh, i think we have sales profit quantity discount any doubt anyone so because see if you want to learn tableau like i really don't know what is your objective but if you want to learn tableau you want to become tableau desktop specialist so it doesn't matter which which part of india possibly you go for training on tableau everyone and anyone in the world will teach you on on this workbook only called sample superstore okay so imagine if you want to go through some exam in future you will get question based on this workbook only so more you are comfortable with this workbook there is a more possibility that Uh, any doing any kind of data interpretation or any kind of data visualization work under tableau you can do it very easily because you have an idea okay so more you remember three segments are there okay three categories are there 17 sub categories are there uh, 59 states are there around 800 customers are there Around five forty two cities are there. Okay, the data sample superstore is the data of two country, USA and Canada. So you can see the country here. If I see the country, where is the country? Country is USA and Canada. Okay, and inside that, if I put the state or provinces, so you can see a uh, certain data. is of canada and certain data is of us okay if i put uh, into the filter i if i click on canada so i can see here uh, the total 59 states are there out of 59 10 states are of canada and the total 59 is there so the us states are 49 here clear anybody have any doubt please ask me okay so yesterday uh, we discussed how you can draw column graph yesterday we discussed how you can draw column graph so for drawing column graph i can draw column graph i can consider any string or qualitative data 
maybe I consider subcategory and put under column and then uh, maybe sales I put under row. So now I got the column graph. Clear everyone? Any doubt? Now uh, I want to see numbers like what is the sales of furniture? How will I get to know? I want to know what is the sale of furniture. Here you can see 17 subcategory. Out of the 17 subcategory, one subcategory is furniture. I want to see the sale of the furniture. Tell me, how will I get the numerical value? Furniture, how, how will I get the sales, guys? I want the numerical value, the top of each subcategory. What is, how will you do the numerical value? How will you put the numerical value? At the top of each subcategory, I want to put numerical value. How can I do that? Anyone? Anyone, I, you can use chat option and tell me. So for if you want numerical value for each subcategory, just drag the sales on the level. If you drag the sales on the level, uh, level will give you data level. In Excel also, we use data level just to see the value. We can, we do that. Yeah, very good, Rajat. Okay, now I got, now I, if I want to short this data, ascending order, I want to short the data. How will I short the data? If I want to short this data in ascending order, how will I add? Rajat, control plus W. Control plus W is not for shorting Rajat. Control for W is like for converting vertical graph into horizontal, horizontal graph into vertical. Like you drag, put it here and you put it there. So, or you put it down, you put subcategory up. So, now, if you want to short this data, guys, the for shorting, this is the command. You can, this is the ascending order. This is descending order. You can short this data. Okay. Uh, please remember this for shorting the data. Okay. Now, if you want to remove the short command, whatever shorting you have done, you want to remove that. Again, go there and clear short. Okay. To change the color of this, you can do that. Fine, everyone. You can use control W or you can use this key. But row into column, column into row. Any doubt, anyone? This much clear. So you can, you can plot, you can draw column graph or column chart. You can draw when you are drawing column chart. So you can draw vertical column chart or horizontal column chart. You can consider any string. Uh, either you can consider subcategory or category or segment or region. Doesn't matter. You can do that. You will get the answer. Clear. So like this, now I got one column chart between subcategory and sales. I want to get another column chart between subcategory and profit. So I just drag profit and put it here. Okay. Now for the subcategory and profit, I don't want column chart. I want line graph. So just click here. So now go there and change it from automatic to line. 
I don't want red color line. I want maybe black or green, whatever. Now, if you notice uh, the data, the subcategory and profit data, if you notice the data level of subcategory and profit is same like a data level of subcategory and sales. If you notice the data level for subcategory and profit is the subcategory and sales. I hope you are getting it. Okay, you can see that values. These are not correct. Because the pro profit here should be 41,937. It is showing 1,67,380. 1,60,380 is the sales. But why it's showing in the profit then? Because here you need to come go here, remove sales from here, and then drag profit and put under level. Clear? Clear everyone? Anyone doubt? Done everyone. Can I go ahead? Try this by yourself. Done, right? So I'll go ahead then. I hope you understood this. Nobody is asking anything. So I'm assuming that you have understood this. Okay, now go ahead and if I see this region under column and sales under profit and here if I change the view from standard to entire view so I know you, you can understand what will happen. Now I can see each region sales value. So I'm dragging sales under level. So if I drag sales under level, so I can see each region different sales value. So we have four region, east, west, north, south. I can see their sales value. Clear everyone. Any doubt? And you know how to short this data, ascending order or descending order. You know how to work on short command. You can easily do that. Okay, that part already being discussed in last two sessions. Okay, next thing uh, what I want to revise or discuss here is keep only or exclude. Okay, keep only means suppose I want only east data. So I just click on east and click on east keep only. Clear everyone. Understood everyone. Okay, now the same thing you can do. Okay, just like other way of using filter. Same thing you can go region. And here you just choose which east region. Just choose that and press OK. So the way we use keep only remove again region. Now I want one east and south to remove central and west. So click on central, press control, click on west and then exclude. I hope you are getting this. The same thing you can do by using filter. Okay, so each region you got the sales value. Now you, how many regions are there? Four regions are there. East, West, North and South. I can see 
four regions are there east west north and south and they have certain sales value put sales under text you can see that sales value for each region the same thing i did here the same thing you are getting here i hope you are getting it now suppose each region uh, i know there are three segments are there no consumer corporate or home supplies or home office so for each region i wanted to see the data of of which segment uh, consumer segment consumer is the segment right office supplies customer something three segments are there which are the three segment now uh, consumer yeah consumer is one of the segment so suppose i wanted to see consumer segment uh, sales data for the east region something like that so what i can do i can just drag the consumer on the segment i hope you understood this so now i can see different region segment wise data so if i want to visualize this i can visualize this or i can see it in the form of table like this clear and everyone clear so here four regions are there east west north south and three segments are there consumer corporate home office any time you are looking for some particular segment data you are looking for maybe consumer segment so what do you do just go to segment and drag the segment under filter one minute so here i can drag the segment under filter here i can just click on consumer segment rest other data i don't know fine right any doubt Anyone, any doubt? Okay. So the same thing you can draw here. If you want in the form of chart. So you have region, sales data. What I do, I go to segment, drag segment under color. If you've done that, so now you get a stacked column chart where you have data wise data a region wise you have data under each region you can see even their segment also now if i drag segment under level so you can see this now you whatever analysis you want to do you can do okay for consumer segment i want what home office data whatever you just click there that data is there with you so whatever form of analysis you want you can easily do so why i have considered region and segment because there are four regions and there are three segments so four into three 12 grouping would be there but imagine if i consider subcategory and region then there are 17 subcategories are there and four regions are there so 17 for the 68 there would be too much data and that much data here on the tableau will not look appropriate so that's why i'm considering uh, those kind of column which have limited grouping so that it become vis visually uh, what you say uh, pleasure for everyone otherwise if you, if i put 17 segment here so it become very it become very lengthy and nobody could able to understand anything
क्लियर एनी वन एनी क्वेश्चन एनी क्वेश्चन एनी वन ऑन दिस यू कैन अप्लाई कीप ओनली एक्सक्लूड फिल्टर ऑल द फीचर्स यू कैन अप्लाई हेयर Now suppose if I want for the region central subcategory wise profit, or I want to know for central region which subcategory has the highest profit. Okay, so imagine if I want to do that analysis. So I'll come to Tableau. Okay, then I go to New Sheet, and I want which region. Central region with sub category has the highest profit. So sub category under column, profit under row. Okay, again I can drag the profit on level. profit under level okay i can see the value okay so now sub category wise profit value i got okay for each sub category i got the profit value but this data is for all the region east west north south i want for which region i want the data i want the answer for central region okay so what i'll do i'll take the region here and i put under filter under filter i need the data for central region this is the data of the central region okay so which have the highest profit like this just select this clear so for central region which sub category has the highest profit copies and which has the lowest profit you have furniture clear everyone Done everyone. Ask question if you have doubt. I wanted to know if I write here, I can write here. Question if I want to, like what was the question? Imagine if I you forget. So in central region, in central region with subcategory, as highest profit. Clear. Any doubt? Can I go ahead? Okay. Going further. Tell me the answer of these questions. For South region, which subcategory has the highest profit? Can you do this? Everyone? First question answer. 
Tell me the answer for this question. Do you know how to do this? Very good, Rajat. So for South region, which has the, which subcategory has the highest profit? Answer is phone. Doesn't matter how will you do this. So you want South region. So this was central. So I just go there. I'll say clear filter. And now which region? South region. So I clicked on South. Press OK. What they're telling, which is highest profit, answer is phone. 10,767. Clear? Any doubt? Question number two. Everyone, please try this for the furniture category, which region has the lowest sales. Okay. Rajat is telling central region. Let me see the answer. I don't remember. How much is the value, Bharat? Rajat, sorry, not Bharat. So answer for the question number two is so the answer for this which region south region one one seven two double nine for furniture category which region has lowest sales this was the second question huh? furniture category so sorry sorry. For furniture category, which region lowest sales? Answer is south. But the value what you are telling Rajat is different. It is 117229. Sorry, 117229. Please cross verify Rajat once. Clear. Ask questions. This much everyone clear. Okay, yeah, I'll do cyan. So for the furniture category, which region has the lowest sales? 
so what you do for niche category which region so take region take sales One category is furniture. Okay, sales again here. Take sales here on level. Okay. So you want furniture category. Category take category here for nature. The lowest is south. You want you can do shorting also. The value is one one seven two double nine. Okay. Do the third one. Okay, only one person is giving answer. Rajat has given answer one nine double five eight one. What about others? I believe I am not teaching to one person. Others also please give answer. Please try Sayan. Every other people please try. How will you get the answer? Simple questions here. Tableau is very easy platform. Everyone, consumer segment south region, what is the sales value? Rajat, do you know how to solve this by using sum if function? This question, consumer segment south region, if you do in Excel, how will you get the answer? Imagine if I take the consumer segment, segment consumer, control C, control N, control V. Okay. So just to consumer segment. And then what they're asking you? South region. So region data I want. Region. This is the region. Control C. Okay. Control V. So I what I want sales value. So I need sales value. This is a sales value. Okay. So you can do in Tableau. You can do in Excel. 
okay you can use pivot table for doing this now if i want by using sum if function i can use sum if sum if okay so sum range what range you want sales control shift down arrow then criteria range one what is the criteria range one so you can select control shift down arrow okay what is your criteria here guys this is criteria range one and then what is your criteria you can select your criteria so what do, what is your criteria criteria is consumer segment right okay you want consumer segment so click on consumer you either you click on consumer or write in double quote consumer okay then criteria range to region comma what is the criteria south region so write in double quote south or you simply click on south it's up to you So either you click on south or you write manually south okay close bracket enter one nine double five eight one clear so you can do in excel the same thing tableau you know how to do in tableau you want to do in Excel, you can use sum if function. So Rajat, I believe you have written an ISM modules and all. Okay. So coming back here. If I want to do in Tableau the same thing, you want me to show you how will you do in Tableau or you people know how to work on Tableau. The, the same thing you can do in Tableau very easily. Okay, now next question. Try this next question. For each region, how much is the sales made by the standard class? Now you should know where this standard class and all came, where in which column will you get standard class? Anyone? Anyone remember standard class in, is in which column? So you sing shipping mode, ship mode will get standard class. Very good, Rajat. Okay, so tell me the answer for this. Okay, Rajat has given answer also 415029. Others also please give me answer. So for East region, how much is the sales made by the standard class? Okay, do in the form of table guys. I want somewhat like this kind of table. The question. I don't want in the form of graph. Give me the answer of this in the form of table. Any doubt anyone, please ask question. Arya, Alvin, Amrit Raj, Anusha, Ashwin, Bhanu, Dhanush, Dilna, Mohan, Sahid, Navneet, Ramya, Ranjani, Sri Lakshmi, Varsha, Viresh, Sayyan, 
ask questions if you have any questions. Sital, try this question if you don't have any doubt. Try the for the this one for the East region. How much is the sales made by standard class? What is the sales of sales minus profit? This is minus guys. Sales minus profit. Sales minus profit is nothing but cost of East region consumer segment. This is sales minus profit. So sales is generally represented in number. Okay, so many in many textbooks and all, especially in maths and all. So like they might consider sales revenue, same thing. So otherwise revenue is, is selling price per unit into sales. So when you subtract the profit from the sales, what you will get, you will get the cost. Again, what kind of cost are you talking about? Are you talking about direct cost or indirect cost? You're talking about fixed cost, variable cost. So if you get into the language of accounts, things will become complicated. Clear? Anyone have any doubt? Ask me. Tell me the answer of these questions. Yeah, again, Rajat has given the answer. Others also, please try. Anyone have doubt? Please tell me which question should I solve. like region and, and standard and shipping what I want. So just region, take region here in row and shipping mode in column. Suppose I want in table form and what they want, sales or profit. They want East region. How much is the sales made by standard class? So sales made by standard class is so here you can see East region, how much is the sales made by standard class? 415029. You can want you can put the region into filter. Keep it like this region into filter East region data. I want graph if you want a graph, which kind of graph you want. So, like here region, here region, and then sales. Okay, I got the value sales under level. You can see the value here. I What I want shipping mode. Shipping mode I want to be what? I want my shipping mode to be standard now. I hope I shipping mode is standard. Let me check again. Shipping mode is standard. Yeah. So for East region, you want you can see East region. East region. This is your East region. This is your East region. Okay, how much is the East region? Standard is a shipping mode. What is your sales? 415029. Clear. Clear everyone. Last one also you can do the same way. No? Sales and profit East region consumer segment. 
ईस्ट रीजन कंज्यूमर सेगमेंट रीजन ईस्ट रीजन कंज्यूमर सेगमेंट हेयर पुट सेल्स यू गॉट द ग्राफ ड्रैग सेल्स एंड लेवल यू कैन सी द वैल्यू देन अगेन ड्रैग प्रॉफिट नाउ यू गॉट द प्रॉफिट वैल्यू हेयर स्टैंडर्ड अ चेंज टू स्टैंड एंटायर व्यू ओके and then shipping mode i want to be shipping mode i want to be standard here standard press okay so for the standard shipping mode uh, you can see the sales and the profit data for east region right so this is the east region Okay. So now, if you notice, the down one is also showing the same value, because here you have to drag the profit under level. So four one five zero two nine is the sales, and fifty nine thousand five hundred ten is the profit. You can do the subtraction; you will get the answer. clear now what i can do here i can go to my excel workbook okay and here what i can do i need cost data cost is nothing but sales minus profit so i just did cost i just did sales Minus profit. I got the cost. Okay, I calculated the cost for each row ID. Okay, now what I want, I want, I don't want sales minus cost in tableau. I want cost all together only. I don't want to waste my time every time. So I'll come to tableau here. I'll go to data source. I'll try to refresh my data. I want to refresh my data. You go to data source, change to extract. Then again, I put live connection. Here I'll refresh my data. Yeah, my data got refreshed now. Okay, now let me try this uh what i want uh sale east region consumer segment so region then this should be a measure for Cost here, cost has not came. Okay, let me see. It should be twenty two. It should not be twenty one. Still showing twenty one only. After profit is cost. Let me just close and put it again.
this is my sample super store let me i have not saved that data first i have to save and close this data so let me just check the location where this data is saved same place only you know sample super store yes i mean i just wanted to reconfirm okay fine yes so let me just close this again Excel sample superstore. Let me just check when it refreshed 28, 19, 14. Yeah. Now let me take this data. Order. I'll drag here. Now can you see 22 field? That extra field is of what cost? I hope you got this. So here for region, okay. Equal cost, cost under level. I have the cost under level. Okay. Then ship mode, I want standard. So you can see the East region uh, standard shipping mode. You can see the cost value three double five six one nine. Clear everyone. Any doubt anyone? I the last question. You got the logic, right? Uh, so the objective here was like, when you refresh the data, like, so the, because you are using Tableau desktop, so automatically, uh, because it's working on real time basis, your data in Tableau will also get refreshed. Only thing you have to save your work in Excel, whatever new work you've done, close that workbook and, and refresh the data. Try the last question.
anyone nobody is responding today except rajat others ital silashmi varsha viresh ajishek aparna arvin bhanu bhavesh dhanush delna godwin if you are understanding please do some questions give me some confidence anyone answer anyone how will you do this what is the answer could i try this nobody is responding if you keep the shipping mode standard category office apply state georgia how will you do this Okay, again, I can go to my Excel workbook. I can just again, I'll go to my Excel workbook. Yeah, sample superstore. So here. I'll just go here. I'll create something called revenue. Column called revenue. Revenue. The spelling is coming wrong. Revenue is, is your quantity into your sales. Okay. Fine. I just ref control S. I save my work. Okay. And then I'll just close this. Okay. I'll go to Tableau. My data source. I'll refresh. I should get 23 fields. Yeah, I got 23 fields. Fine. 
So this is the advantage of using desktop version. Okay, fine. Then what should I do? Uh, I want for shipping mode standard. Shipping mode should be standard. And then category office supplies. Okay, so category office supplies I put under column. Category office supplies shipping mode standard. Shipping mode standard. Okay, and I want revenue. Revenue column I got. Revenue put under text. So you got the revenue column and you want for the state car Georgia. So I'll go here alphabetically I'll search Georgia. This is Georgia. Press OK. And for Georgia, what do you want? Uh, you want which kind of category you want? You want office supplies. Office supplies standard. Your answer is 80,000 office supply standard. You want you want revenue is 80,774. Clear everyone. Any doubt? Then everyone. Clear. So we did just try to solve some numerical problem on Tableau based upon our understanding about the data. Okay, the data what we have in sample superstore workbook. Okay, the how we can comprehend the data, all that we try to understand. We try to do some mathematical calculations and we just played around. Okay, everyone. If you have any doubt, please ask me. So this much I will do in today's class. Anyone, any doubt, please ask me. Please ask me if you have any question. If you have no doubt, then I'll wind up the class. I believe attendance is being taken. So 23 students are present today. Fine. Then if nobody have any doubt, I'll wind up the class. Thank you, everyone. I'll wind up the class. Bye, everyone.